This is Rebecca Porter. It is the night before my competition. It has been a long 21 weeks, five months. Um, but I, uh, I might look a little different in the video today thanks to industrial strength, cancer in a can. Um, I have a lot to go over with you in this video. Um, so I want to show you uh, what I've got and uh, you can assess for yourself. My suit again is not glued on. It will be glued on um, tomorrow, but let's take a look at what I have. I'll go ahead and do uh, my poses here. journey and I was very shocked at a lot of the things that were happening to my body. Um, so I focused a lot on the negative things, you know, my, my injuries, my rash, um, my skin and my hair being so dry, the loss of my menstrual cycle. Um, I, I've really started to feel um, not like a person anymore, almost like a science experiment, especially being painted all up last night. Um, and I found out that this is a pretty ruthless sport. Uh, some of these people are not very friendly. However, despite all of these things, there have been some really positive attributes of this entire journey as well. I have learned so many things. I've got them written down here, so I'm just, I want to go through these. Um, first of all, I've been doing this 21 weeks. I have a horrible sweet tooth. This has really helped me tackle my sugar habit. I have learned how especially sodium and salts, are, or sodiums, salts, and, which are salts, and sugar are some of the most toxic elements to the human body. Nothing will make you gain weight faster than sugar and salt. Um, I've learned, especially uh, when I work with my clients, how eliminating certain food groups affects the body. Um, eliminating fats, what that does to you. Eliminating carbs, how that can help you and hurt you. Uh, eliminating fruits and dairies. Um, I have learned the, uh, the effects of overtraining. Um, I love to train. I love to work out hard. But let me tell you, in this last week, last two weeks really, my shoulders shot. Uh, my low back. Um, there are parts of my body they have just ached. And it's, it's due to overtraining. I've been training twice a day, at least an hour and a half to two hours every single day for 21 weeks. Uh, I would take one day off a week, usually on Sunday, but it's just excessive. So I've learned some of the effects of that. I've learned about hormone fluctuations. Boy, let me tell you, can your diet affect your hormones, which affect your mood, which of course affect your menstrual cycle. My estrogen levels are through the floor right now, uh, and believe me, that affects your mood. I have learned about the success of truly clean eating, what it can do for your body. I mean, cleaning it out, and then taking that to the extreme, the effects that that has, I've learned that the point is to have a balance, a happy medium, allowing yourself treats every now and then, uh, allowing yourself some extra fats every now and then while balancing clean foods. Um, one thing I, I found out during this uh, sport or about this sport was many of these people do this on season and off season. For example, on season is when they're training for a competition. They might get down to about 115 pounds. Then off season, they gain 40 pounds doing this continuously to their body. That's insane. True health is always on season. Um, and that's, that's a problem I've had with this. But um, I've learned to have fun with my goals. I tried to listen to everybody else instead of listening to myself. And about halfway through, I figured out, you know what? I need to listen to me. And I need to have fun. Make this fun. Um, I've learned that I'm a stronger person than I ever thought I was. 
I've been tested several times. I've had my husband go overseas and found some strength there. But let me tell you, doing this has been uh, mind-boggling. And there are many times, I will not lie to you, there are many times I have wanted to quit this. And, and rightfully so. I had a lot of concerns, but I just couldn't give in. I had to finish this journey. And I found out, wow, look what I can really do. Um, my strength and my speed, man, am I strong. And I can run. The other day, I ran four and a half miles in about 42 minutes. I've never been able to run like that. I'm really strong and I'm really fast. I peter out pretty quickly because I don't have very uh, much energy with the low carbs. But I have learned some phenomenal things about this journey. I've learned better ways to work with my clients. And that is huge to me. I will tell you, as of today, I've lost 12 pounds. I will drop at least another pound by tomorrow. Yeah, I bought a pound by tomorrow. But I've lost 12 pounds, and I've lost 13.1 inches off my body. People have been asking me, do you want to win? Do you want to win, Becca? Aren't you doing this to win? I'm going to be honest with you. Um, the most important thing for me throughout this entire journey has been to walk on that stage, to feel good about myself, to walk out confidently with my held, head held up high and know that I didn't sacrifice any of my beliefs. I did this journey without pills, without shots, without special shakes, without juicing up, no creatine, no supplements of any kind. And I don't know many people that can say the same thing. Um, the, this, this industry is not tested, so I held strong to those beliefs. I also held strong to just my personal beliefs uh, regarding my business and health in general and balance. And uh, I'm very proud of that. I'm proud that I didn't quit. Um, I, this has been one of the most amazing things for me. And I just can't believe I did it. So do I want to win? In my mind, I have already won. <laughs> Because I finished, I could really care less if I come in first place or last place. Because I actually did it. I encourage you to look at some of your goals and follow through. Because you can do it. I have my wine glass. My sad little empty wine glass. It will be filled tomorrow night with my Shiraz or my Malbec uh, wine. But I have to do a vanity cheer, a cheer to myself that I actually did it. No matter what happens tomorrow, in my mind, I am a winner. Cheers.